And today we are going to work with adding one more and then subtracting one less. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our number rack. And I'm going to show you an amount of these on the number rack. And then we're going to fill out in our student book what is one more than what we see on our number rack and what is one less. This is what your student book looks like. Make sure you get the right one. It says Bridges in Mathematics Student Book. Okay. I'm going to switch over to the other camera to start our lesson. All right, you're going to turn to page three. Page three in that student book. And up at the top, it says one less, one more. All right, so get your pencil ready. And I'm going to show you the first total of these. Fill in how many bees you saw right here by the apple. You should fill in five bees. All right, and now we're going to do one less. So five minus one. If you have five fingers and you put one down, how many do you have left? You should write down four. And we're gonna do one more. So if I have five fingers and I add one more, you should write down Okay. The next number I'm going to show you you should write down beside the ladybug A7. All right. So what is 1 less than 7? Seven minus one. You should write down a six. And one more. Seven plus one. You should write down an eight. All right, get ready for the next total. Right beside the dog, you should write 10. Now we're going to do one less than 10. So 10 minus 1. You should write down 9. Now we want to do 10 plus 1. And you should write down 11. All right, here's our next total. Beside the heart, you should write eight. What is one less than eight? Eight minus one. You should write down a seven. Now we wanna do eight plus one you should write down nine. All right. Here we go. Beside the gift, you should write six. Now we want to do one less than six. That's five. And then we're going to do one more than six. And that's seven. All right, here's our next total. Beside the cat, you should write 11. 
one less than 11 is 10. One more than 11, that's 12. Here's our next total. Besides the butterfly, you should write 15. One less than 15, that's 14. One more than 15, that's 16. All right, get ready for the next number. Here we go. All right, right down beside this leaf, you should write 19. One less than 19, so 19 minus one. That's 18. One more than 19, that's 20. Very good. All right, get ready for the next number. Beside the spider, you should write a 16. One more than 16, or one less than 16 is 16 minus one, that's 15. One more than 16, 16 plus one, that's 17. Almost done, we just have a couple more. Here's the next one. Beside this penguin, you should write 20. One less than 20, so 20 minus one, that's 19. Then one more than 20, that's 20 plus one, 21. All right, last one. Right beside the crab, you should write 13. One less than 13, 13 minus one, that's 12. One more than 13, 13 plus one, that's 14. All right guys, we are done with our lesson for today. Give yourself a pat on the back for all your hard work with adding and subtracting. All right, guys, we are going to play a game called Show Me Five. All right, we've done this a little bit before, but this time we're gonna use our number rack to help us. So I'm gonna switch over to our other camera and we'll get started with our lesson. All right, I've got my number rack here ready to go. And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. We're gonna split our five and our five right down to each side. So five on the left side, the red beads, five on the right side with the white beads. And we are going to practice using our number rack. So here's our first card that we're gonna try to do with our number rack. We've got four red and one blue. So for the blue, we're gonna use the white beads and for the red, we'll use the red beads. So I need to slide over four beads. One, two, three, four red beads. And then I need to slide over one white bead. So now my card and my number rack match. Show me with your fingers, four red and one white. You should show me four fingers on one hand 
and one finger on the other. All right, let's do our next card. All right, so let's clear our number rack back. All right, show me on one hand how many red dots I have, and on the other hand, how many blue dots I have. All right, you should be showing me two dots for one hand and three for the other hand. Let's make our number rack match. I need one, two red dots. One, two. And I need one, two, three of the white beads. One, two, three. All right, so now they match. All right, here's our next card. Let's clear our board. I need three red beads and two white beads. Show me with your fingers how many red beads I need. Three. Show me with your fingers how many blue. Two. Very good. Let's make our number rack match. I need one, two, three red and one, two of the white. Now they match. Very good. All right, let's clear this off and go to our next one. All right, show me how many red beads I need. One. Show me how many white beads I need. Four. All right, let's make our number rack match. One red bead, one two, three, four white beads. Very good. Awesome job, friends. You absolutely rocked it today. Remember to practice counting from one all the way up to 20 and then do it backwards.